Hi, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out who's catching romantic feelings for you and why. And for those of you who like to book a personal reading with me, information is in the description box below. Today is the 29th of January, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 12.53 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is, this is a collective reading for Earth Signs. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you dealing with the same earth sign all right now let's get your reading started spirits and angels please show me for earth signs virgo taurus and capricorn who is catching romantic feelings for earth signs and why King of Cups, you have two people catching feelings for you, Earth Signs. And this reading is only for those of you if you are around people, okay? If you are currently connect, connecting with people, uh, dating, putting yourself out there, definitely not for those of you who are like staying home and not doing anything about your love life, okay? So we've got the Seven of Pentacles, the Emperor, Knight of Wands here in love first. So the first person I would say is a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. This person probably is right under your nose. <laughs> you know who this person is. I always read the seven pentacles as, you know, right under your nose because look at his nose here. And then you got all these pentacles right under his nose. Doesn't matter, he or she is not gender specific. So this person has been observing you, I think, uh, has been waiting for you. But I think the Emperor is also quite a stubborn energy. So even though this person is catching feelings for you, he's not really budging. He or she is not really budging, like not really wanting to show too much. Even if they do, it's very little. It's inconsistent with the Knight of Wands here and what first, okay? Some of them, they don't want to show at all. And don't even really want to take actions towards it for some reason. And then with the Knight of Wands here in reverse. Yeah, they're not taking any actions. I feel like there's somebody that you may have an inkling who this person is. Because obviously this person is right under your nose. But the Emperor... It kind of makes me feel, okay, it doesn't matter. The Emperor, can kind of okay, maybe this person is older than you, or also could be somebody younger than you are, because we've got the Nine of, Nine of Wands here in my verse. It feels like this may be someone... I feel like could be quite stubborn and want things to go their way, but also don't really want to show weaknesses, yeah? This person could be catching feelings for you, romantic feelings for you, but really wants to control it because the emperor is a controlling energy as well. So this person is trying to control their feelings, hence I think they are not actually actively taking actions towards you or showing it to you that much, okay? Moon in my first, Ace of Cups in my first, Three of Swords in my first. Some of you maybe you have rejected this person before in the past or they may have rejected you in the past, there's a rejection energy here, Ace of Cups in reverse. The Moon in reverse can indicate that um, you know who this person is. It's There's no secret to who this person is. Some of you, the lovers, you can indicate maybe you've been intimate with this person before. Physically intimate because the lovers, you know, these two people are naked. But also... The lovers can indicate for some of you if you're in a third party situation, this person may be putting you in a third party situation, but at the same time catching romantic feelings for you. And for some of you, it could be friends with benefits kind of arrangement, and then somebody is catching feelings for you. This person is catching feelings for you. Feel different 
storyline uh, storylines just take what resonates with you <clears throat> sorry i'm actually having a sore throat right now <laughs> uh please bear with me we've got the four swords in reverse <clears throat> and the four pentacles here in reverse i feel like this person is getting really really restless he or she could be catching feelings for you but really is thinking about telling you i think they're thinking about telling you yeah and they're very attracted to you with the lovers here or that they do love you care about you but the ace of cups in my verse can indicate some overwhelming feelings that they have because when it's in my verse and the four swords right next to it i think they're getting really super restless about how they feel about you again it feels overwhelming but i think that's because he or she's trying to control it okay but they're kind of thinking maybe they're losing control through the system of verse, maybe you have hurt this person before, this person may have hurt you before, but going through healing and recovery. See, the four pentacles of verse can also indicate maybe you have let go of this person or they may have let you go at one point in time, but it may not always mean that. Four pentacles in verse can indicate opening up. I think they've been thinking about opening up to you, what they feel about you. Maybe they're afraid <clears throat> of rejection with Ace of Cups here in verse. Let's see more. <clears throat> So the second person, Earth, Earth signs, um, could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Could be again also a Fire sign. Could be a Fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. With the Nine of Pentacles in the first, Libra, Gemini, Chris can be any sign. Okay, but I think you have two people catching feelings for you, Earth signs. To be honest, and Six of Cups you know who these people are these two people you know who they are i think you have a history with them okay six of cups can indicate history um an ace of wands can indicate attraction and strength i do read it as being intimate as well sexually intimate or some sort of intimacy okay it could be kissing hugging or just Flirting can be flirting as well with Ace of Wands here. Yeah, I see two people here and Ace of Swords. I feel like these people could be, this couple of people could be attracted to you for your, for the same thing. <laughs> and the Ace of Swords, it's like you just, you being you, being honest. And you definitely know BS and you could be quite successful too because of the crown here and the wrist and you're just honest I think these two people are catching feelings towards you because of your honesty you could be quite blunt but then also again there's a crown here you could be like a queen you know acting like a queen <laughs> or acting like a king and people like that know their worth and their value and perhaps you could be somebody quite powerful as well and whatever that you do for your career for your living or just who you are is it like you're powerful or the strength card can indicate you are somebody very strong strong-willed or you literally have a strong physique it could be that as well or this person could have a strong physique um very strong character i would say two of them both of them have really strong characters I, f I feel like you're also attracted to at least one of them or could also be two of them because of how strong they are and one of them could be quite sensitive with the king of cups here six of cups very gentle very understanding energy i'm getting here so maybe also for some of you these two people may be catching feelings for you because they feel like you're somebody very gentle also um caring genuine there's something about you that's a little bit i wouldn't say naive but in a very adorable kind of way innocent yeah something about your innocence because you're so straightforward with ace of swords so this pe pe these two people could be catching feelings because of that and also obviously with the lovers here, they're attracted to you. There's definitely attraction energy with Ace of Wands. But the only issue I'm seeing here, look at the strength here again. It's like these couple of people are like holding back. Maybe they are egoistic. They have a big ego and they don't like to show their weaknesses. 
So they're controlling themselves. Controlling themselves from falling deeper in love with you, catching more feelings for you. But there's definitely this restlessness of maybe I want to tell Earth Science, maybe I want to tell her or him. Maybe I want to open up, should I? With the Seven of Pentacles here. Because still observing, should I open up with the moon here or first tell them my secret feelings that I have towards Earth Science. Alright, this is your reading. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you'd like to watch more of these videos, that I've been posting every single day, a couple of times a day, with different topics and different questions. You can go ahead and binge watch it. Um, click on the daily readings playlist, or you can click on videos, but if you can't see the playlist on the screen right now. And for those of you who like to book me for a personal reading, um, I've added four or five different options to booking a personal reading with me. Um, just send me an email, my information is in the description box below. If you'd like to watch my travel vlogs, go to my second channel. It's on the screen right now as well. It's titled Asia. Alright, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. I hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.